80 Albert Street in Johannesburg has undergone a dramatic transition in the past 60 years. It's where Valele Fane and thousands of others like him used to come to get their passbooks stamped. Now there's a playground where there was once only oppression. If you don't have the right stamp, the police van waits back there by that gate. And you come down and they put you straight into the van. Fane is now the cleaner in the old non-European affairs department building. We lined up on that and this side. There was white lines here and black. And I was on the blue line. The officers were raised. You had to go up the steps. There were no passages. This is where you would get your special permit. Now the building is a safe place for women who need help. Many are taught skills like computing and furniture upholstery to make them independent. I've, I've actually realized that I'm stronger than I think I, think I am. And um, I've got, there's, there's good support system here. You've got uh, um, social workers and counselors that you can talk to at any time. Things and things. Um, Pastor Jay started the women's refuge 10 years ago. And it wasn't always a chapel, was it? No, it was uh, the court. Anyone who broke a pass law would have to face a magistrate in a room now used for prayer. Where in the past, uh, decisions were made for the wrong reasons for people's lives. Now they make positive decisions for their lives here. The building's now a protected heritage site and there are plans to establish a museum here, something Fane is happy with. I'm okay in my heart when I think about this because now it's all over. I need to be strong for the children because they're here all the time now. Children who are helping to give a building once filled with hate a new direction. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg, South Africa.